if you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood nigga's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now, before we get into the video, do me a favor real quick. Smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy my content, please hit that notification bell so that every time I drop a video, you'll be the first one to get it. Now, check me out. Hey, I don't want to believe this, y'all. I'm talking about like, if y'all, look, I just do not want to believe that Lil J done went out like this. I don't. I'm talking about after getting out of the penitentiary from doing seven years, uh, everything you drop on YouTube is trending. You starting to see money. And from my understanding, you just signed a record deal in the six figures. According to FYB Main, you understand what I'm saying? He's saying that you just signed a major record deal, right? So why in the fuck, Lil J, is you riding around, walking around, scooting around with a motherfucking pistol, man? When you just signed a record deal, brother, when you can hire real security to have your back legally, what is you doing? Y'all just ain't making no sense. I mean, like, who is around these rappers, man? I mean, like, come on, uncles, mamas, daddies, cousins. Somebody got to... Hey, listen, man. Bro, what the fuck you doing with that gun? Give me this motherfucking gun, man. Here, let me get this motherfucker. You don't need this. I got it. I ain't got no felonies. If they catch me with it, it's just going to be a gross misdemeanor. It's a year and a day. I'll be out. But, nigga, you the bag. I got to protect you. No, you can't tote this. I got your back. Better yet, let's go get you some security, man. You understand what I'm saying? Let's go get you some real armed security that's going to lay a motherfucker down for running up on you playing. Come on, man. We, I mean, it's not... I don't want to believe it, y'all. I hope it come out as a rumor on everything. I hope this shit right here come out as a rumor because, I mean, like, this is, this is just... Ah, man, I'm telling you. I hope it come out as a rumor. But if it don't, Lil J, your ass tripping, bro. You tripping, man. And, and let me say this right here, y'all. Let's be 100 because we hood educated, not lame related, right? When we take upon a job, right? Any job that we do right now today, there's consequences and there's rewards, right? Some of y'all might say, well, damn, who educated? I work at the restaurant. What kind of consequences is that? You, you giving your time away, right? You spending a lot of time away from family, friends, kids, and all this old type of shit and other things, right? But the rewards is for the hard labor that you put in, you can take care of your family. You can buy the things that you need. You can buy the things that you want, right? Consequence and reward. Lil J took on a profession known as drill rap, right? And he is a drill rapper. So in his profession, the consequences is death or jail. The rewards are a lot of money, a lot of clout, a uh, uh, lot of fame, a lot of material things. These are the rewards, right? And to some people, fair exchange ain't no robbery. Right? So, can we blame him? If Lil J did get caught toting a pistol, can we blame him? And the reason why I say that is this right here. His profession calls for him to disrespect dead people. His profession calls for him to make fun of people that are shot in, uh, uh, in wheelchairs. People that are... Uh, no longer with us. This is what his profession calls on him to do. Right? And in doing his profession, there's people on the other side that he's making fun of, that he's talking about, that he's disrespecting, that want to kill him, that want to shoot him, that want to harm him. Right? So can we blame him for riding around with a motherfucking sword? Can we, y'all? I mean, he has to understand 
the reward and the consequence of his profession because it doesn't happen time and time again. The evidence is before him time and time again. Some of his friends have lost their lives doing this drill rap thing. Some of his friends or some of his enemies has became successful doing this drill rap thing. And from all evidence that I've been looking at since he been out of jail, he was looking to be very successful being a drill rapper. So if he got caught with a motherfucking gun, can we blame him, right? What he's really saying is he's scared, right? What do you mean, hood educated? He talking all that shit that nigga can't be scared. No, yes he is. He's scared to die, y'all. Okay? Because if he didn't give a fuck about dying and all that old type of shit, he wouldn't be having no gun or none of that type of shit. He'd be like, fuck that nigga. I'm going to talk shit about y'all. Y'all come kill me or whatever. No, this nigga want to protect his life. He want to save his life. He'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6. Right? That's why this motherfucker got this motherfucking gun. But like I say, y'all, I mean, I'm telling y'all, man, I, I hope this is a rumor, right? And I hope the bloggers got this one wrong. But if they didn't, Lil J understood his profession and he understood the consequences of being a drill rapper and the rewards of being a drill rapper. This hood educated, not lame related, man. Peace and love. Y'all take care of yourself out there. Shout out to the people that done hit the cash app. And I also want to tell y'all, man, go check out that Hood Educated merch. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there.